Tuesday and I'm um, of course on my way to work and I wanted to do um a whole, let's little chit chat little chit chat about the show dear John no Lord dear dear John dirty John not dear John dear John is an old show from back in the 80s that I love back in the day but this is about dirty John which is on Bravo um hello 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 to all my J birds do not forget your ass is in the wrong lane you trying to get over Mm-mm, oh, white man. Mm-mm. Sorry. Uh, if you have not done so, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and become a whole J-Bird. J-Bird. Hello. See, so it came out that time. Y'all came out, even though I'm a little bit tired. But it came out. But not bad tired. Not, not I'm exhausted tired. You know, just it's the start of my day and I'm still tired. Um, But, yeah, become a whole J-Bird. Okay, all that good stuff. Um, shop my cheese spring merchandise, like, comment, and share, and this is all, you know, all that. I said every video, you know what I mean. Um, the show, Dear John, now, I wasn't watching it when it first came on. Um, I just started watching it last week, so I had to watch the first three episodes, and then the fourth episode came on, was it Sunday? I think Sunday. Um, so I just watched it yesterday. You know, I like the show. If you haven't, it's, it's a mini series. Okay, this is not like a whole full recap, step by step. It's a, it's a, well, it's a recap, not a review. It's a mixture of the two. So, if you have not started watching it, it's a good little, um, it's a good little mini series. It's not a whole, you know, it's gonna be season after season thing. It's based on tr a true life story that happened in real life. You know, I'm like, oh, is it? So but when I watched the first episode. I didn't know that when I watched the first episode I thought it was just a new show and I'm like oh this is good this is really good and it stars Connie Brenton she plays the main character Deborah um or whatever it also has who else Jean Smart Jean Smart is in here I loved Jean Smart on design and women okay back in the day um Charlene Sheen was that Charlene Sheen Oh, was that a girl I went to high school with? Her first name was Charlene. I know that much. I know Julia Sugar Baker. I know that much. Okay, Julia Sugar Baker. Okay, and that is when the lights went out in Georgia. Okay, if you don't know what that reference is from, you was too young to be watching me. Go ahead and go on YouTube and watch some designing women. Okay, get into that old Southern Belle uh, show. So, uh, <laughs> but Jean Smart plays the mama, whatever. So the whole. The, you know, episode one, you know, we see Deborah and she's just, you know what I'm saying, wealthy white woman, witchy woman, walking around doing what she do. I think she's like a designer or whatever. You know, we see she has a snotty ass daughter who is, you know what I'm saying, highfalutin because they got money. So she's sedity as hell. You know what I'm saying? So we see that whole thing. And we see she's trying to get back up out on the dating scene. She's been married four times already. And, you know, she's still looking for love. Well, married and divorced for a chance, but she's still looking for love. She has three kids, like two girls and a boy, um, and also a nephew who she treats like her son. So we've seen that whole thing. So she back dating, and she's on a little dating website or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Date, I think, other date. And they all turn into just not good dates. And then she goes on another date with John. Okay, with dirty ass John. Dirty, dirty John. And, you know, she's like, well, he seems nice. He's a doctor or whatever. We're going to just go out to eat. We're going to walk over to the restaurant or whatever. And our daughter's like, really, Mom? Really, Mom? Okay. You know, because she's talking like, oh, he looks nice. All these good things. And then he gets her house to pick her up. And his, her daughter opened the door. And he looks dirty. He looks a little bit homeless. You know what I'm saying? With some a little regular-ass dingy shirt, some shorts, 
and some shoes but like not dressed up for a date at all like extra casual he dressed like they was going to feed some ducks at the park and the ducks might shit on him that's how he was dressed okay um and deborah of course dressed great because you know what I'm saying? she's a rich white woman so they go out they have a good time a good conversation they talking and talking and talking okay because again he's a doctor and we see scenes of him, you know, in his scrubs, talking to the patient. You know what I'm saying? He's an, anesthesi he's an anesthesiologist. So, he's the person who gives them the meds. Okay? He gives them the meds. And um, he's giving the woman, you know, medicine for her pain or whatever. So, we, I'm like, oh, so he's a real doctor. Because I thought he was a fake-ass doctor because he's dirty-ass John. So, you know, that was kind of episode one was her and him meeting. You know, them going on a couple dates and everything. And it's having a good time. The daughter don't like him. The daughter does not like him. You know, it's something about him I don't like. So, we do, see, like, on the first date, when they go back to the house, um, they kissing and hugging, hugging and kissing. And um, she's like, oh, well, listen, give me one moment. And then she comes, she, like, go in her bathroom, and she come out, and he laying in her bed. And she like, oh, no, I need you to, you know, go back in the living room now. And so, he, like, leaves or whatever. It's like, I can't believe it was a good night. And then he did that, which was weird, and he just kind of left. So, you know, it was what it was. And he called like, you know, let's do a do-over. And, you know, they they go out, you know, again, on, just on different dates or whatever. And she likes him. He's a doctor, so she likes him or whatever. He made his little scrub. And I'm like, his scrub don't match. So I don't know if that's, you know, whatever. <laughs> it, was, it was two different color blues. Okay, it looked like he got it from the Salvation Army and he, he pulled it from the show. But, you know, we see that whole thing. But by the end of episode one, they got married. They secretly got married when they when she was like one of like a company party thing or whatever in Vegas and they secretly got married. I said, girl, you got married in episode one? That man gonna do you harm, girl. That man gonna do you some harm. So we kind of see episode two, you know, he all like, you know, oh, this house is really nice. I wish I could buy it for you, but I ain't got enough money like that or whatever. So what does she do? She buy the house because they knew the way. They married and no one knows they married. Um, it was crazy. So it was that whole thing. Like, what else happened? We, you know, she met. You no, know, he met the nephew who was really, who she treats like a son or whatever. You know, we do find out that her sister was killed by her sister's husband. So her sister's husband killed her. Her sister's husband killed his own wife. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So the nephew was the son that was left over. And we also see that the mama was this is supportive of the man who killed her daughter like she still talked to him and shit and talked to him at church i said oh hell no mm -mm. nope you killed my daughter but i gotta either kill you or I, I when i do see you when i see you i gotta make your life a living ass hell i gotta throw tic tacs at you okay i gotta throw you know what i'm saying peanut butter under your shoes make your feet sticky okay i gotta do some shit just to get on your goddamn gone nerves but whatever. So we, that means the mama is real. You know what I'm saying? I believe you can fly ish. You know what I'm saying? I believe in R. Kelly. He ain't do nothing. Believe in the worst people of all times. Um, but yeah. And we do see, like, even in real life, the mama did do that. The mama did support the man after he killed her daughter, saying she knew he was out of his mind. And even though she hate what he did, she can forgive him. Bullshit. You can't kill my daughter and I forgive you. Girl, bye. So. The daughter don't trust him. So, the daughter, like, hire a private investigator to figure out what he got going on. Because he keeps saying how he got this little scar or whatever from being in Iraq or whatever. Was it Iraq? Or Afghanistan? I think Afghanistan. Um, and he keeps coming with like, these stories of where he's been or whatever. I'm like, he's, girl, fairy tale. Duck tales. Duck tales. Ooh. He telling duck tales. Okay, look behind you. It's, it's a whole the duck tail stuff. Like I saw a, a whole adventure. Okay. Anyway, Scrooge and I guess Connie brings the gas is, is, is Scrooge McDuck. Um. So we see that whole thing. Um. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck, bitch. Lord, would I come up with this stuff? Anyway, so the you know. The nephew kind of is like, uh, I don't know. He seems to be auntie happy, but you know what I'm saying? The judge is still out. We do see like they moving into the new house or whatever. And her daughter, you know, come up or whatever. I think what the daughter do? The daughter is like the daughter and the son or whatever. And he was kind of rude to them like the first time meeting them. They're like, oh, hey, you're John. And he's like, what do you, what are you guys doing here? We, we want to tell you, what are you doing here? 
And they like, well, we just came back early. Oh, well, y'all can go walk the dog and, you know, until later. And I'm like, well, damn, not a hello, how you doing? I'm John, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't welcoming. So they get weird vibes from her too. And Connie, or Deborah, is in counseling with both her daughters. because Just because of the mistakes she's made, her daughter's a little bit, you know what I'm saying, emotionally just needy. Let's just say that. And, you know, the other daughter is like, I don't want him around. You know what I'm saying? We, are we good, me and you good, but I need you to not have him around. And then, you know, of course, she don't listen to whatever. She still bring him around for Christmas time or whatever, which makes the daughter mad. And I'm like, it's just a whole bunch of foolishness. But the grandmama, like, I like him. He's nice. You should be with him. You know what I'm saying? The kids will, will come around or whatever. I'm like, don't listen to no grandma who over here, you know what I'm saying, canoodling with the goddamn daughter killer, okay? The grandma was canoodling with the daughter killer at the church. Girl, can't believe it. Anyway, so we see that whole thing. It was just a lot going on in that or whatnot. You know, we also see how, you know, was it on this episode? I think that's all that happened on that episode. We're going to forget that part. You know, we also see, like, on the third episode, how we kind of see his background, what happened with him. So he really was a doctor. He was married before, had a whole wife, but he was still an asshole. He was crazy. He, his nickname was Dirty John. Because he would do all kind of scams and stuff. Um, he ended up cheating on the first wife with another person from the hospital. We see he also was um, like stealing medication from the patient. So the patient who we saw earlier, who we thought he was giving medicine to, he really didn't give her medicine. And another nurse saw him pocket the medicine and not give her anything for her pain. And then the lady was like, oh my God, I'm in so much pain. And then like when the nurse just came with a doctor, the the guy just came and gave you medicine, like, have a long ago, so you shouldn't, he's like, it's, it's like he gave me nothing, because he didn't, and so, come to find out, he has a drug problem, he's been stealing the, the drugs in the hospital, Lord, and his wife at that point in time, the first wife, was also a, a nurse, and a friend, like, you know, girl, I saw him stealing drugs, and I had to report him, because, you know what I'm saying, that could be a whole violation and stuff, and he's been stealing from patients and making them in pain, and you better hope that, you know, they don't come to your house, because if they do, if it's pain medication there, they're going to come, you're going to get fired, you may get some jail time, and they may take your kids. So, wife runs home, and of course, she finds the empty vials of medication that he's been stealing, you know, she, she played back all the times. They were, um, my phone about to ring. This is almost took like, she played back all the times that she saw him like nodding off or stuff was just weird like he was a whole drug addict because he is and so she's like well damn he really been playing me all the damn time and he's an asshole because she helped him become a doctor or become a nurse okay but you know once all that happened she figured out he's a whole asshole and how he used to be you know he wasn't really in school or she just found out the truth that he was a whole he was a scammer okay a whole dirty ass john and so she wanted to leave him he would call and harass her and these all kind of crazy messages. It was crazy. Crazy. Okay. We then see Connie then kind of find out, oh, it's some bullshit afoot. You know, the, the daughter and the nephew go, like, looking with the information they found out from the private investigator. And they found out he wasn't really in Iraq. You know, he has his whole other life or whatever. And when they try to tell Deborah, she don't kind of believe him until she go home and she sees the mail from a prison and she was about to open the letter and he come you gonna ch check my mail and he snatched the mail in her hand i can't believe that i can't believe you do that da, 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 da. don't do that and then he like walk away and she realized something is wrong something is wrong and all the happy moments i used to have she's like i don't know if i like him making my food i don't know if i like him you know what i'm saying cut my water on in the shower or whatever so we see that whole thing okay cool 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 and so last night's episode is her she was like they, she, he had them put cameras in his house in the house in the house and at the job or whatever and she, it was just some dumb or whatever and then because he was acting crazy or whatnot she was like sneaking home like sneaking around her sneaking around her own house avoiding the cameras because she knew he could see the cameras on his phone or whatever and so she like snuck in the house around the cameras got to the little drawer 
read all his paperwork and she found all the court documents and stuff of him being a crazy ass stalker before all his so she she then found out he's a whole criminal a smooth criminal okay and she was upset went to talk to her lawyer the lawyer found out it's all true he sued oh he sued lawyers he sued exes he sued cops he said you need to get to know him girl if he in your wheel change it run girl run bitch run that's what the lawyer was basically saying um so we see that whole thing so she knew she he ended up getting sick and he was in the hospital and so she packed up the whole house and left left him left him left him whatever but her dumb ass went back because she wanted to find out why he did all this and then that's how the episode kind of ended with her showing up to the hospital to, to take him home. I don't know if she went home. Even though she told her daughter, yes, I left him. I got it in the man. You know what I'm saying? I changed the wheel. She, she said all this shit, but I don't know if she did or she didn't because I ain't see her do any of it. So we're not sure about that. Um, there was also things, the reason the daughters also didn't like him was because at one point when one daughter was at the house and she was in her mama's closet because mama kept on, didn't tell them that we're living together. And the daughter was in her mama's closet and she saw his stuff. And so she opened a box and it was his stuff. And so her and the mama was like, I can't believe you didn't tell me, mom. And then John asked him, like, you know, why don't talk to your mom like that? And she's like, don't talk to me about my mom. I don't know you. Again, her and John had only known each other like a month, if that, when they got married. So this new ass man who's only been around for a month or two gonna come in and yell at you and go say, back in my day, you know what I'm saying? If that happened, we would get a backhand. Bitch, did you done threaten to slap my daughter? And the whole time, Deborah is still like, I'm not, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But she's not telling John, shut the fuck up. I said, girl. And that's another reason why the daughters didn't like him. It was just crazy. And, you know, he just, girl, it was crazy. It's, it was the whole thing. But it's a good series, y'all. It's a good series. I'll say that. I missed a lot. You know, I didn't say everything that happened, but I gave my opinion on what happened so far. Um that he did but yeah if you haven't watched it go ahead and catch it catch up on it it's only four episodes in it's more episodes to come i don't know how long the season will be it's, this is also some podcast i don't have time to watch a podcast and a tv show so that just isn't gonna help um happen um so it's like whatever 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 i don't really care um anyway i'm almost at work so i will talk to y'all later Okay, again, the show is called Dear John. Dirt, why keep on saying Dear John? It's because of the show. Dirty John. It's on Bravo, and it comes on on Sundays. And it's, you know, it's good. And it's still worth it to come because, again, she took his ass back. We're not talking back, but she didn't, she didn't stay gone. The people told her, girl, if you break free, break free because he has a habit of getting, getting, getting with these women and wrecking havoc in their lives, you know what I'm saying, to the point where he, it, it was even cops who had, you know, restraining orders against him. You know what I'm saying? Full-fledged, on-duty cops because he's a good-ass scammer. He's been up to it for a long time. Even his old friend was telling his ex-wife how back in the day he would, you know what I'm saying, jump on cars and, you know, have people pay him money acting like he got hit. He would just do all kind of, he would do like credit card schemes and he would rob old people, like scam old people. He's the dirty-ass, he's the dirty-ass bastard. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm done, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. Love you all. Love you all. Love you all. Peace. It's like love, love, love.